two, one, go! Autonomous mode, robots moving under onboard programming and sensors. No human intervention at all, still scoring in the upper hub. 14 to 14 as we move into teleoperated mode. Does it get more even than that? Up goes Aftershock, too high for the Red Alliance. Answered quickly by two more for the Blue. Lots of cargo going in down low. Regal Eagles depositing one for the Blue Alliance from the right-hand side. Cyberhawks maneuvering that swerve drive, utilizing it to swing around their opponents and heading to the center hub and doing their best to try to score high with their shooting mechanism. Robotex trying to perfect that safe shot. If a robot is touching the front of their hangar, they cannot be touched and it is considered a safe zone to shoot from. Robotex nailing that one. 75 seconds left. Here goes Robotex again, lining up, flags waving. We'll see how that shakes out in the final score. One minute, 60 short seconds left to play. Still anybody's game. Robotex now lining up, trying to go high. Will they get up all the way? They're gonna try to go as high as they can with 40 seconds left to go. Reaching out, pulling all 150 pounds of metal and machinery up as high as they can. 25 seconds left. Their partner is coming in. The Dragons looking to line up as well. Here comes Aftershock going for the mid bar. Yes, they do. Rover takes having another successful climb. 10 seconds left. Robots maneuvering, trying to get on the bar. As do blue robots hang as well. All the way up goes Aftershock. Final score coming up. Of the Red Alliance, 72 to 52. The Red Alliance picking up three ranking points. Two for the win and one additional one for getting exceeding the minimum amount of hangar points at the end of the match.